today? Good. Yeah? Who had a great week? Raise your hand. Who had an okay week? Raise your hand. Who had a super exciting week? Raise your hand. We had a good week. Becca left for college, but she got back before the storm, so we are really happy with that. She's all safe. So who can tell me what we learned last week in Sunday school? There's no, you, there's no volume coming through up top, Abby. Oh, hang on. There we go. Can you hear me now? Is that better? A little bit better. Turn it up a little bit more, please. So, Jace, what did we learn last week in Sunday school? Danny, can you give Jace an idea? No, just tell him. Just say it. We learned that God forgives our sins. Did we learn that God gives us lots of chances and he knows what choices we're going to make? And just like the children of Israel when they decided to continue to disobey God? Yeah. Now, we're up to Daniel. So last week we learned that God gave the Israelites lots and lots and lots of chances to do his job and to do what he wanted them to, right? And that if they did it, they were going to be taken captive. What does it mean to be taken captive? Die. Nope. Miss Sue, what does it mean to be taken yeah. captive? Yeah. Against your will. Against your will. Jace says go to jail. Is that kind of the idea? They're taken captive now. Now, there was this guy named Daniel. Who remembers about Daniel? I have to thank you all. All right, Daniel, come on up here. He's decided to use his name today. All the way up, up here. Lions. I have some very special lions this morning. Lions. Okay, lions, can you come right here for me? Come here, lions. Okay, get down on the floor. Come here, lions. Now, Daniel was a very righteous man, and he loved God very much. Daniel prayed to God three times a day. Well, the king and some of the king's guys said, you know, Daniel should be praying to the king. So he convinced the king, the, these guys convinced the king to make a rule that Daniel wasn't allowed to pray to wow. God anymore. But did Daniel listen? So Daniel kept praying to God. See, he's praying and he's praying. And guess what those guys did? They snuck around. Go. They snuck around and they kept seeing Daniel pray. And he's praying and he's praying. Well, then they went back to the king. And they said, hey, king, guess what? Daniel's breaking the rules. And the king said, not Daniel. He's my favorite Israelite. He's my favorite one. And now I have to throw him to the lions. Lions, make your big roar. <laughs> so... The king's men took Daniel and they tossed him to the lions. Gentle. Oh! Oh, wait! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What did the lions do? The lions gave him kisses. Give him kisses, lions. Well, so Daniel. Cuddled with the lions. The lions kept Daniel all warm and cozy all night long. Okay? The next day, get up now. The next day, the king ran. He ran to the lion's den and the king said, Daniel! Are you still alive? What did Daniel say? Long live the king. Daniel said, Long live the king. That meant he was still alive. Daniel, the king said, Daniel? How'd you stay alive? And then what did Daniel say? <laughs> Thank you. Lions, lions, sit back down. Lions, sit back down. Daniel, climb up.
up out of the lion's den. God kept Daniel safe. Well, because, shh, listen, because the king's men had tricked him, the king threw his men into the pit. Were the lions as nice to the men in the pit as they were to Daniel? Yup. All right, lions, go sit on the front row. Daniel and King's men, come sit on this row. Lions, sit over there. So one of the things that we learned from our story about Daniel and the lion is that we can be pressured into doing bad things. Mr. Jeremy, can you bring the rope up here? Jace, can you come help me for a minute, please? Quickly, right here. You have to stand quiet. You grab one end of that rope. Now, Mr. Jeremy, would you go that way? Danny and Lucy and Liam and Lana, can we leave our lion sitting right here? Come right here. You guys all come right here. Abby, Miss Suzette, Miss Jen, can you come help us? Oh, no. Now, <laughs> we know, Miss Suzette, I'm going to have you go that way. Miss Jen, I'm going to have you stay over here. Abby, you can stay right there. We know that we choose all the time to make decisions, yes or no? What kind of decisions do we want to make? Good. Good decisions. Decisions that honor God. God. But Daniel was part of a group that was pressuring him. It's called peer pressure. To do something that doesn't honor God. Right? Now, this rope is kind of, this rope kind of helps us to look at that. So we have some people on that end and we have some people on this end. Yeah? Now, which group should be the good side? This one. This side should be the good side? <laughs> so this group over here, go that way, go that way, go that way. Keep going, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, stop right there. So we have to make a decision. Sometimes the bad stuff will pull us really, really hard. It pulls and it pulls, and we can either walk along or we can pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, stop there. We can decide if we're going to let the bad choices and bad decisions and bad things that take us away from God to pull us towards him, towards them, or we can make good decisions and pull those towards God. Now, every day, listen, hands on top. Every day, we have to make these decisions. Every day, we get to pick, are we going to follow God today? Or are we going to follow not God today? What decision do you think God wants you to make? Follow him. Now, when we make a bad decision, Miss Jen, come over here. Miss Jen's now making bad decisions. Oh, no. She's going. She's on the bad decision side. Now, what should she do to be on the good decision side? I should say sorry and go back over here. If you say sorry to who? God. Say sorry to God. We can go to our good decision side. Jace, I need you 
you and Liam to come and get your lions, please. Have a seat. We get to make the decision if we're going to do what's right or do what's wrong. We get to make the decision if we're going to help our friends do what's right or do what's wrong. That's our choice. And God wants us to be with him. Are we ready to pray? Our verse this week says, Daniel went to his room three times a day to pray. He got down on his knees and gave thanks to God. They were loyal to God. I will be loyal to God too. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for today, and we thank you that we're learning that we can follow you even when it's hard, even when somebody wants to hurt us. God, we can follow you. We can be loyal to you. We pray that you'll be with us this week. Keep us safe as we go home. Keep us protected from the bad roads and the slippery sidewalks. God, and help us to influence our friends this week. Help us to be good peer pressure this week. God, not bad and help us to follow you with all that we have. We love you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen.